Hello, this is Beth here, Lead Nurse Educator at International RN. Um, so I'm an experienced nurse here in the UK and I have been teaching off-ski and doing overseas recruitment um, of overseas nurses for about 60 years. I also teach the CBT exam. In 2024 is when I made my own company of International RN. If you'd be interested in taking a course with us, please check out our website. Or if you want more tips and other videos for your off-ski exam or CBT exam, please check out our social media and YouTube channel. Okay, and as always, good luck with your exam. Hello, so in this video, I'm going to take you through step by step of how to complete your News 2 chart as part of your assessment station in your off-ski exam. Okay, so I've now um, documented the patient's vital signs. Um, this is vital you complete this chart correctly in the off-ski. If you miss one of the vital signs or you put in the wrong box, um, they will fail you. Um, so you need to be very thorough with this. So at the top I put the date and time. Um, next is the respiration. So for this patient I had respiration of 21. So they will go in the orange box which will mean it's scoring a 2. For saturations I had 95 which is in the yellow box and again that means it's scoring a 1. This additional box for saturation I've not recorded for this patient. This is for only for patients who are diagnosed with COPD and the doctors have specified that they're on scale 2. Um, so this patient does not have COPD so I have not used this box. Um, for oxygen I put the number of litres here, which is 5 litres, and she's got a mask on. Um, if, if the patient was on air, I would just write an A in the top box. And again, because she's requiring oxygen, that scores an additional 2 points. For the blood pressure, as you can see, it's a bit low, so it's 110 over 80. So for the scoring of the blood pressure, I'm just looking at the top number which as you can see falls into the yellow box so I'm scoring a 1 there. For the pulse rate, um, this patient has got a pulse rate of 90 so I've, I've put in the appropriate box and that's in the white box so it's scoring 0. This patient is alert, she's not confused um, so that's scoring 0. And I've just recorded that with an A. For temperature, her temperature is 38.0 so this, although it's slightly high temperature, it still doesn't hit the parameter to fall into the yellow box to be considered a problem. So you need to be really careful on this kind of thing. So that would still be scoring a zero. So now to get my new score, I add up all of my um, scoring sections for each parameter. So I've got two and another one, so that's three two more here, five, one more here for my blood pressure which is six and I don't have any for that. So I put my news total as six here. Once I've done that I then check on the back of the chart and I can see this patient's got five or more so it's on the urgent response so I'm required to do the OBS at least hourly. Here you've got some treatment recommendations which I would run through with your examiner saying what actions you would take for this patient. So um, I would inform the medical team caring for the patient and I would request them to assess the patient urgently and um, I would also provide them with a monitor if it was available or I would recommend the um, clinic um, clinical team, the doctors, to transfer to environment of monitoring facilities. Okay, so I've got one hourly here. So I've then recorded that as my monitoring frequency as one hour. Escalation of care, I put yes. So I've just mentioned I'm going to inform the doctor this patient is very unwell. So yes, I'm taking actions and just initial it. And that's how to complete your vital signs.